well, tell me, tell me who you are. I'm Patrick Lecky, and I work for Food and Trees for Africa. I'm Susan van Yeden, and I work for Zamin Guani. Um, great. And I'm Bernal, the Water Maverick. We are here after the Mula for Romanzi Business Concept Competition, and you guys won, was it? Second. Second place, well done. So I launched this on the 23rd of November at the Small Wastewater Treatment Conference in East London, and I met Susan there, and she was one passionate lady. So tell me what you told me then. What was the idea? Um, with the project, it's in a very rural area, and they have serious water problems. Although the school board gave them some toilets, there was no water. So we were going to do two toilets for them, one for boys and one for girls. But somehow this project just snowballed and became a very big project. We are very proud to say we have 24 toilets for them now with systems where we treat the grey water, urine diversion, where we separate the feces and the urine. And Patrick and them, of course, is doing a wonderful garden and we're feeding a thousand kids. <laughs> so Patrick, you've added something special to this. If you had to explain and build your ego, what specialness, what awesomeness have you been adding to this project? The awesomeness, well, who knows where to start. Um, I think the, the, the awesomeness is just with the idea that you can really grow food using waste, using human waste that would normally get flushed down a toilet if you have water. If you don't, maybe it would just go down a, a pit in one of those pit latrines or, or even in the bush. So we're really revolutionizing the concept of what, it, what is waste and, and how can we actually use what we normally think of as dirty or waste um, to grow really healthy food and actually support ourselves um, to make money in the process. So you got you got some questions with, from the judges on the on the issue of using brown water. To, That's right, grey water. water. Yes. Um, well, I mean, what was that interesting feedback for you, or do you, do you have an answer on that one? Well, when I answered the judge, I I explained that you know there's there's several techniques, but the the, the technique I suggested that is feasible is to use a, a system of um, modular tanks which are settling and processing the waste as it goes through with uh, aerobic and anaerobic bacteria which will actually this is water break those that's going to be used to water plants and, yes. and, and food. Yeah, you need it? to so make sure there's no bugs in you, there. Yeah. No you need to be, yes, you need to be very sure. And you're confident you can fix that? It has been done. Uh, Susan is really the expert in this in this area, but it can be done, and it has been done successfully. Yes, we are still busy with the research on that. We also make use of the Vinden Sound students from the Netherlands, and the next group will be joining us in April, where that will be their project to do the research. The important thing here is just to make sure that you think about it. It's not difficult to make these things work, but you can't sweep it under the carpet. So the question I have is the first rule of business is to address a need. How do we do that in a flash and forget society where people don't think about where their wastes go? Because you're relying on people actually owning up to their waste and saying, this is my waste and this is good. I can use this. How do we do that? Yes. Um, every drop of water in the school are being utilized from the kitchens, from the bathrooms. We've built little systems that they can go and do at home. And wherever there's a system, there's growth. There's plants growing, fruit, trees, and vegetables. And a lot of students are making money from this vegetables. So we're adding a lot of skill to them and we are really uplifting those kids. So how could it, because we, we must wrap up now, but how can people learn more about your work? Are there any ways you share what, what yes, you're doing? Yes, well, they can, they can log on to the website, uh, our website at uh, www.trees.co.za. That's the Food and Trees for Africa website. Or alternatively, they could 
go to. <laughs> get in touch with you. They or could. Is that the best way? Yeah, yeah, they could uh, send us an email. My email's patrick at trees.org.za. Um, or else. I think this is also showcased on the waternetwork.co.za yes, website, right. which is where all the phenomenal yes. entries from Mula for a Monthly Business Concept Competition will be showcased. Short, sweet, punchy, and you can get more Lovely. information. Lovely. Well, congratulations. And how much money did you get today again? 7,000 euros. Yay! Yes, Woo! So, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.